So this is our first quiz, and I decided to come because um, our professor reached out to us and invited us to the to the conference. We're all interested in computer science, and specifically data science um, is an interesting subset that we like to explore. Welcome to quiz. I am loving it. I am loving the energy that the room is uh, is giving. It's so amazing for me to meet people from the data science community thinking about how we can bring some of this into our day-to-day -day lives. I think that's a really exciting conversation. So one of the, uh, the best and the best technical conferences, regardless of women or men, <laughs> the women technologists and the scientists, they are here, not only they, they're trying to solve real world problems, but also use scientific methods to do so, so make them very credible and also so relevant. Now, a top request we hear from pinners is that they want to feel represented in the product. This is why we launched the skin tone ranges and hair pattern search. $50 trillion uh, went to the top 1% rather than going to the bottom 90%. It's also about fairness in data. It's about fairness in the algorithmic outcomes. It's about fairness in the decision-making process. We need robust data flows for a healthy democracy and a thriving, equitable society. We have over 500 hours that are uploaded every minute to YouTube. So as a result, we need to figure out how do you match this large volume of users with content. I'm really amazed and uh, you know, inspired. This, the WIDS movement has just really taken off around the globe. All these amazing women uh, here talking about themselves, talking about their path, their journey, how they feel sometimes not that confident, but they kept going. It's just like, I'm speechless right now. And I want to do that for the rest of people that I get to know, the rest of women that I feel, especially in Colombia and of course Latin America. You can do it. Your unique viewpoints and ideas matter and you will change it. It's not going to be easy, but don't ever give up. I thought the approach of having different, almost grassroots organizations around the globe participate in such a distributed manner was just really cool because it really fosters that sort of community building you want when it comes to not just data science, but really any, I think, efforts to try and engage more girls and women to enter the field. We've been talking with the leadership at San Francisco Girls School for about a year, and we are really excited to host them at this year's WIDS conference. We will be working with them on our next Data Days program. So we're thrilled to be working with them and bringing them to a professional conference. There are so many exciting projects, so many different applications of the science, and I'm going to bring all of that back with me with all of my hats on. And I, I have already reached out to people that I've heard giving presentations to see if they want to collaborate on initiatives through Women in Big Data and hopefully at, in conjunction with Women in Data Science. You have the power to not only change yourself, but through changing yourself, you can change others. The economist Raj Chetty has talked about the million missing Einsteins those children born into poverty who never have the chance to explore science and innovation. So I want to call out today the one million missing Marie Curies. We need everyone to contribute and flourish.